So this is the New York Times by the book tag. This was created by Mati Berg and I was tagged by Rincy. So how do I say no to that? Got to get started. Let's do this. Number one, what book is on your nightstand? Well, actually I've got a lot of books on my nightstand because I still read with an e-reader. So of course I have my iPad mini. But this month I've been reading a little bit of poetry. La-di-da. So I have Felicity by Mary Oliver and Salvage by Michael Crummy. Now, Felicity is the Fleetwood Mac rumors of poetry. It's ubiquitous. Mary Oliver is a very familiar and well-known uh, living poet, and her stuff is fantastic, beautiful. I loved it. Um, Michael Crummy, I think of him as more like the Rayostatics whale music, not the original motion picture soundtrack, but the original whale music. It's distinctly Canadian. It's a little bit all over the place, a lot more oblique, maybe a little bit more difficult to get to, but no less entertaining once you devote a bit of time to it. And of course, I'm just finishing up Shelter by Jung Yoon. Loving it so much so far. Um, there'll probably be a video review for that sometime in the near future as well. Number two, what was the last truly great book that you read? That's easy. Private Citizens by Tony Tula Tamudi. I did a full video review of this where I explore what I liked, or at least try to explain what I liked about the book, and my strange but immediate need to reread it upon finishing it, which frankly is very unusual, and I've never really done that before, but I felt I had to with this particular book. Nonetheless, I enjoyed it quite a bit, and uh, yeah, it even stood up with the immediate second reading. Number three, if you can meet a writer, living or dead, who would it be and what would you talk about? This is actually pretty easy. She, her name has been in the news quite a bit lately, and that's Harper Lee. And I imagine a Harper Lee at maybe 65. Um, and I'd love to talk to her about the nature of fame and why she withdrew, how she could stop writing after finishing To Kill a Mockingbird and not feel the need to publish anything after that. What does she feel about her lawyer, Tanya Carter? And maybe subsequently, what does she feel about all Ghost and Watchmen? And I think she'd be a very interesting person. Fine, she's reclusive, but she didn't dislike people. She had an apartment in New York, and we could go to maybe a, like a, a little independent diner or a cafe nearby. Talk about our love for Bloom County. Um, she apparently kept a correspondence with Burke Breathed for quite a while and uh, loved Opus. Um, I think we could have a lot of fun talking about different things. It'd be very, very interesting. Number four, what books might we be surprised to find on your shelf? Well, that actually would probably be ugh, all these poker books. I really like Texas Hold'em poker. I play quite a bit. I enjoy going to Las Vegas, of all things, to play poker. I'm not very good at it anymore. I've actually forgotten more than I've learned, but for a time there, I was doing a lot of studying and research. I didn't do a lot of multi-tabling or anything like that with online poker, mostly just neighborhood games and games with friends, but uh, it doesn't hurt, and I always enjoy reading uh, poker books. Number five, how do you organize your personal library? I don't really organize my personal library, so the closest thing I could say is by size. If it fits on the shelf, it goes on the shelf, and if it sort of matches the height of all the other books there, but Really, there's no organization, it's not alphabetical, fiction is mixed with non-fiction, there's no timelines or anything like that. If anything, the closest I could say is you know, the center shelves are the more popular books that I liked, and if we go out to the periphery up at the top and down at the bottom and over to the edges are books perhaps that are older that I haven't read in a long time or that I didn't like as much, but that's pretty well it as far as organization goes. Number six, what book that you've meant to have read but you haven't gotten around to yet or that you're embarrassed you haven't read yet? And frankly, that's all the dead white guys. I haven't read The Brothers Cameras Off, uh, War and Peace, Sun Also Rises, The Count of Monte Cristo, Great Expectations, Dickens, right? All those books. A lot of the old classics I've been reading a lot more contemporary and the classics have sort of fallen by the wayside in the past few years. Eh. Number seven, Disappointed, Overrated, what book were you supposed to like that you didn't enjoy? And for me, that's an easy one. It would be A Brief History of Seven Killings by Marlon James. This was the favorite book of a ton of booktubers, and booktubers whose opinions I really, really respect, but I tried. And maybe it's more me than the book itself. I got four-fifths of the way through it, and even then, with very few pages left to finish, I just didn't. DNF the book. The writing was great. I just felt disjointed. I wasn't connecting with the story at all, but yeah, I just I feel bad about that one. I know I'm supposed to like it, but I didn't. Same goes with Wolf Hall and uh, Robert Bolano's 2666. Uh, they're all in common, big, big books. I just couldn't get past that. Maybe I was just intimidated. I find with really big books, I need to read them at a very specific time where I can devote a lot of time to them. I feel bad, but there you go. Number eight, what books are you drawn to? Others that you stay clear of. 
I think I'd like to think that my wheelhouse is fairly big. I like challenging myself as a reader and reading all different genres, sci-fi, a little bit of fantasy, literary fiction, thriller, mystery, horror, all of that. I think I like good storytellers. I obviously like beautiful writing, but I also like authors that keep me guessing. And this doesn't have to be a thriller. I mean, certain stories, you can sort of see the arc before it happens. And those writers that actually can veer left or keep me guessing all the way through, yet keep me interested, I really appreciate that. The books I stay away from, obviously the Dead White Guys, the big classics, I haven't read a lot of that in the past few years. And I tend to shy away from biographies and autobiographies. But that's about it. Number nine, if you can get the president, or in our case, the prime minister, to read one book, what would that be? It's sort of an odd choice. It would be John English's Just Watch Me, the story of Pierre Elliott Trudeau. And that would be Justin Trudeau, our current prime minister's father. Now, I had the good fortune of working with John English many, many moons ago. I think he's a fantastic human being, and I like him a lot. And I think the book is also important. Justin is getting a lot of attention for being a young, good-looking world leader, but it shouldn't uh, overshadow the fact that he is also directing a lot of policy. And his father was um, a celebrity in his own right and was often seen on the arm of Kim Cattrall or Margot Kidder. But at the same time, he'd made policy decisions that helped shape Canada into what it is today. And these are big, big, hard line, hard stance positions that he did take. And I think there is something to be learned from that. And I think it'd be just kind of interesting as well. Number 10, what do you plan on reading next? And I am continuing on with my Korean authors series, which has been fantastic so far. I'm looking forward to Human Acts by Han Kang. Yeah, the Vegetarian, I wasn't a huge, huge fan of. It was a little too oblique for me um, and really messed up, but uh, I have high hopes for the follow-up book. So there you have the New York Times by the book tag. It was a lot of fun, nice and easy. So I'd like to tag a bunch of booktubers out there that will hopefully have a chance to do this tag as well. Katie over at Chapter Stacks, Jacob Tanner on his channel, Amory at Books Beauty Amory, Hannah over at Craving Books, and Ryan from For the Love of Ryan. I think you guys have been officially tagged now. I hope you get a chance to try this out. For the rest of you, I hope you have a great reading week. And hey, if you want to do this tag, don't let me stop you. Get on it. Talk to you later.